Alright, welcome back to some more Crab Champions. We've tried both of the new weapons now, and the laser cannons do have a new model. They look really sick. I really like them. So we've tried the seagull as well. Uh, it's okay. It's not the best. Uh, I've lost with both of these runs, but today I'm going to take it seriously and try to get the diamond run. Critical Blast. So we're kind of going for criticals here. Um, I am going to take a uh, black hole. So this is a new uh, grenade that we can use. So we've got our item. I've tried these game modes, by the way. Holdout is interesting, but you only have one HP. Uh, I would have wished for like a more of a zombies kind of style, but it's literally like you can't get hit once or else you lose. And there's no items. Uh, arcade, I haven't tried yet, but I'm assuming it's the same kind of vibe. And then I, I tried duel, which was very underwhelming. I played it against uh, played against Danny. It's just rocket launchers, which do 30 damage each, which is basically just like four hits. Uh, it's um, it's all right. It could be so much more though, and I know it's like early, so we don't really know what it's going to look like in the future. But we got the we got the black hole today, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do my best to get a good laser gun run here. How do we do that? We go for sharp shot. Oh, oh okay. We go for sharp shot. We should we should ramp up our damage quite well. We already have seven per hit. And with guns that have a lot of attack speed, the most the most important thing for the run is going to be like activations. So percentage based things, probably stuff like elemental. Elemental builds are really huge on the laser cannons. We've discovered that I think last time, but we kind of failed at the last moment. I don't want to talk about it. But so far, so good. Seven damage per hit is much better than the two damage per hit we were just doing. And I can't tell if like, I think that the red damage just means we killed the enemy but it's not a crit we don't have any crit yet so blue shot is interesting we'd go for elemental like i said chance based stuff is great now i think they've made it so that now um chance based stuff is lower based on the attack of the uh, the weapon so for i mean that they changed that a long time ago but i thought they changed it back but things like rocket launcher had a really high proc chance on most mods. Also, you can see that the, the glue is delayed quite a bit. But honestly, anything that we can do to like modify our damage is probably good. Plus damage can be very good for aura shot. If we get aura shot and then stick our lasers to the enemies, it just does a really good amount of damage. Uh, we're going to go for fire shot here. Go for speed, why not? It's not the greatest. But now I'm just hoping to keep this elemental going. Hopefully... More random, random levels would be good. Just elemental in general. I throw my my black hole. When I see the enemies, like higher level enemies, I like to throw my black hole. Especially grenade crabs. Now, what else are we looking for? Probably like the double-edged sword greed perk would be good. It's always a really good run. Uh, not killer, opposite run winner get rapid fire let's get the fire rate increased is that even possible with this weapon we'll go for a flawless random why not i guess it is possible to attack faster i saw a gold rock so i'm just gonna keep my myself on this side of the the map that way i don't blow it up by accident and we're just gonna do our best to avoid getting hit please throw a black hole out there now i don't know how i mean it looks pretty good i was gonna say i don't know how good this black hole is considering i don't have like a damage grenade but i think it's good having a black hole at the palm of, like at, you know at palm of my hand is pretty good all right that'll be it we got flawless let's reward ourselves with some extra hp all right we have sharp shot we will take sharp shot. When we see sharp shot, we take it. Heavy hitter. Fire rates reduced. Not a fan. Red fury damage after is increased after eliminating enemies. Sure. Let's go for skill chest here. Let's throw our grenade out. I don't I think the black hole is dealing damage too, it looks like. Still need to find like a crit chest. Considering we have like powerful explosions, I feel like it would be good to get. We have a bunch of limpets here, which is a little scary. They're kind of spooky. I say I want to see them more, but they are a pretty difficult enemy. So I feel like maybe I don't want to see them very very often. 
You only get a chance to really hit them when they're like underside is showing. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can kind of like angle my shots under his shell. Crystal fertilizer. More destructible crystals and health rocks spawn. Um, sure. Why not? Let's go for waves here. I really like waves. I think it should be like a survival thing with like lasers would be really cool. Where it's like a... There are like lasers that are going off that you have to avoid. That could be a pretty cool modifier. Okay, let's just throw our black hole here. Okay. A little spooky. We are yet to be hit in this run, so... Let's keep that keep that up. Okay, epic chest, last wave here. It is weird that like you already have the maximum reward. But you need to you could like get hit right now and still get the chest. Okay, speaking of <laughs> Okay, I got hit. That's okay though. I'll blast fire claws. I don't really care for Fire claws. I'm not really gonna be mailing that often. And also bubble blast grenades are not amazing. Let's grab bulletproof so there's a chance to avoid damage. And there was a crit now, but is there anything really worth upgrading? I mean sharp shot and fire shot would both be great. I could take a critical blast as well. I am passing up a, a critical chest. So I'm hoping this is worth it. Okay, got all the crabs dancing over there. This is a horde wave. With an unreasonable amount of enemies. This is Island 8, so this should be a shop. Which is perfect for us. So we're trying to get as much money as we can. I mean, 2,000 isn't amazing on Stage 9, but... Like, I'm pretty sure Stage 9 shop is pretty expensive already. But I'm just going to get as much money as I can. Anywhere close to 3k would probably be pretty good. Plus we do get an upgrade here. So I should get us enough. Yeah, 2800 is not bad. We did get fire shot. And the critical blast. It's a chance. It's a 6% chance. Which doesn't do a lot of damage. And it would probably be 12% chance for 50, 100 damage. Which is pretty nice Like when you get crits. But I really don't know if that's better than just getting... A second fire shot. So I'm just going to do that. Because I'm just getting higher chance. Which I'm pretty sure it's 4% chance now with laser guns. 2% chance per perk level is not good. I will get poison as well. Let's just get our... um, Yeah. Let's get our, our stuff leveled up a little bit. With elementals. Okay. We have a crystal. Which does give us a little bit of money. Sonic boom. No. We'll just reroll. Spore shot is great, but I really don't have the ability to sell enough to do that. And I think, do I care? Do I care about the glue shot? It's a bit weird. Glue shot's a bit weird. Do I really want to sell it for one armor plate? No. I think what I'm going to do is probably get rid of the fertilizer. I just think having protection against bosses is important, especially at this point. Like, with the with all the changes that have been made to this game, like, enemies are no joke. So, the like, especially bosses. So, the more we can sort of protect ourselves from instant nukes, uh, probably the better. You can see here with a bit of poison, which is why I grabbed poison shot. It just makes the damage so much better. I think poison's probably the number one elemental, if I had to pick one. Now, let's see. Do I care about bubble blast grenades? No, I don't care about them. I just said that. I do I do I like firework shot? It's okay. It's a bit messy, but it's only two percent chance. And it seems to fire like on its own now. Which is a bit whack. With how many shots we're firing, two percent isn't like that bad. I also haven't really messed with the new melee weapons yet. I think the hammer like slams you or something. I did look at them. 
But I don't really melee that often anyway, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. I hear something over here. What's going on? There you are. What do we have here? Okay. We can upgrade our our glue shot. Which, I mean, only does one more damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not the best upgrade, but, you know, any damage is, is good damage, I guess. I love how much of a sniper this gun is, but just, like, um, just many sniper shots. It's pretty much hit scan. Store our... Okay, let's let's get out of this actually. So far, I feel like the black hole does provide quite a lot of nice, like, alternative uh, gameplay because it's just like very nice to have something to be able to spawn on the ground and. Huh. Explosive enemies deal more damage in a greater radius to nearby enemies. I mean. I don't I don't even I don't even know. Let's go for criticals because we do have the critical blast. I can't remember what I was saying before. I was talking about the, the black hole grenade. It's just nice to have some utility that does something more than just an explosion. I got hit by like a fifty ricochet bullet. Critical arrow. Okay. Uh increased crit hand. Crit chance, but incoming damage is also increased. Uh, sure. It's a little dangerous. This is tough to pass up, but elemental is just too good. So I'm going to do that. I got to remember I can go this way too. I think this was changed. This used to be like a really scary cave start. And now there are ways to go around, which is nice. I saw briefly there a shield enemy. That's like a mega crab. So I'm hoping to not have to deal with him until the end. Yeah. Um, I don't like that. How am I going to deal with that guy? Um, I don't know. Probably like this. I did get hit. Okay. A little spooky. We really need to up our health pool. Fortitude is one of the, like the best just overall mods because oh I love this stage. This is the ice stage. I love this one. It does have like an enclosure, but why is it all slugs? Did I pick up the slugger? I can't remember if I did or if I picked something else. That would be very helpful for this stage. Okay, goodbye, Mega Crab. It's always weird. I can't, I can't really tell how much damage we're doing because I always pile it on with my shots because of the glue shot. So, But it seems like we're... I mean, we are doing like 20-something damage per shot, which isn't amazing. I'm actually probably going to go Poison Shot here. Yeah, I think having like 12% chance on each of my shots to deal Poison is great. So I'm going to do that throw our black hole out early here. Okay. That's a lot of ice slugs. You know what's really weird is that the uh, the right click cannon um, it has no ammo count. <laughs> it's I'll show you what I mean in a second. And I can't tell if like I have over overall 100 bullets. Or if I have 50 that I'm splitting between the two weapons. I think it's actually 100 bullets. So getting like a magazine increase for the, the laser cannons is very nice. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a, just a second once all these enemies are dead. Okay. So here you can see in the bottom right corner I'm at 50. Now when I'm shooting with just the right click, you can see my ammo does not reduce. Now what I'm thinking is like let's say I do that but then stop. Yeah see? I have 50 bullets here and like if I do this and reload it still does not say 50 in the bottom right corner 
But now this one's reloaded. So I think these weapons, I think that's going to be updated soon to fix that. Um, we're not going to one shot in this build. I'm going to be honest with you. So I think we go for juice, even though critical blast upgrade would be great. What I'm trying to say is, um, I'm pretty sure this weapon has 100 ammo to start with, which is, I think the highest ammo any, oh, you know what? I think minigun has 150. So never mind. Or 75, I think it's 100. At least 100. But yeah, uh, so it's interesting. I think I'm doubling my ammo count whenever I get uh, the magazine increase, which is nice. I like that. But it does need to be, the UI does need to be updated. By the way, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a thing called Activate, but I'm going there in a couple days. And if you haven't seen what it is, and you might not have it in your area, it's definitely like a thing in Canada, but uh, look it up. It's called Activate like games. If you want to know exactly what it is, you can like look up Activate Toronto. There's a few places in Toronto that have it. Um, but it's very cool, like interactive, like physical game center where you are, you are your character playing in the games. There's a bunch of different types of games. Like you have to dodge lasers and uh, um, go through the room, navigate the room in a certain way. There's ones with like light lit up tiles on the ground uh, where you have to uh, basically touch certain tiles or select uh, tiles or patterns, or you have to r avoid like red hazards on the ground. It sounds really cool because it is really cool. Um, Honestly, the only only downside I have that I have to say about it is that you can't spend more time without booking a ton of sessions. Uh, I think you can book 75 minute sessions and then you have to book another session and it's like upwards of expensiveness as you keep going for sessions. But, uh, you know, I, I usually book two sessions at once because 75 minutes is not enough to have like a good amount of time. But yeah, I thought I'd talk about it because I... Oh, Aura Shot. This is it. Isn't it? Wait, does Aura Shot just not work on lasers? Hello? Oh. The Aura Shot doesn't work. Take Poison Shot. Let's upgrade again. Critical Blast. Let's, let's, uh, let's build an... Okay, interesting. So, the lasers do not have auras, but you can see they actually show up on enemies. That is a giant crystal, dude. Holy. Okay, that's going to be huge. Like, the damage I'm getting from the aura shot on the glue. I mean, are you seeing this? This is the start of an amazing run. We just needed that one item, and now we are... Going to pop off. Let's go for performance bonus. We, we, we haven't really be, been getting hit too often, so we just get extra chests. Yeah, weird. I guess, like, because this gun is basically hit scan, it doesn't really. Like, I think the lasers are just a visual thing, but it's actually hit scan. So that's nice, but it kind of kills Aura Shot without glue. Performance bonus? No. You learn something new every time you play this game. And I think that that is knowledge that I will definitely take to good use in the future. I mean, why not just go for another glue shot? Doesn't really do much. It's probably only going to add one damage overall. Yeah, I think we're at 24 damage now. So it is weird. Like, okay, that the starfish are crazy. Um, It is weird that like... When you shoot the ground, it doesn't actually drop an aura. You have to hit an enemy with it. At least it works on the enemies. Visually, it's very pleasing. And... GG? What just died? Something just died with off screen. Okay, toxic, poison, yeah, let's do the poison stacks. And you know what, let's go for random. I don't really want to lower my health. Without having like like a super high health count and some shields, I find that nowadays you can't really just like confidently run around with low health.
But, but glue shot was a great uh, preparation mod. I didn't think it was going to be as useful as it as it became. But it is probably like MVP for the run right now. All right. That health didn't even disappear. What the heck? Okay, we take poison shot again here. Honestly, poison shot with 18% chance to poison is amazing. We are starting to steamroll a little bit. Let's throw my black hole in the doorway. Yeah, this is great. I wish the black hole lasted a little longer or was a little more effective with like the way that it sucks things in, but it's not that bad. It is also nice that since aura shot kind of exists immediately when you hit an enemy, I'm actually starting to do like instant damage. Because obviously with glue shot, it's delaying the, the damage, but aura shot activates right away. What is this? This is, what oh, is a free item? Another poison shot it was meant to be. Yeah, we go sharp shot for sure. Rush. I don't think I'm doing, okay, I have not won a rush yet. I don't know if it's like needs to be nerfed or the time needs to be increased, but I, for the life of me, cannot kill enough enemies during these rushes. Whatever the number is, I never get it. Like, not even close. Like, I feel like I'm doing a decent job here at, like, killing as much as I can. Yeah, let's, let's, um, let's keep throwing our black hole down here. Like, I am doing as much as I can, man. I, I got flawless. I think I did it. Because there are, <laughs> there are three spike chests. I, do I want to take this? I don't think I want to do that. I was just talking about how I don't want to be, I don't want to do that. Do I, I also don't want to do crit. Oh, this is terrible. I'm going to go for critical to try and get the explosions. I don't have any healing. I've really kind of... I've really kind of messed this up. we got to play this extra careful. Yep. The second I see any... Oh, come on, man. Okay. Is that a grenade launcher crab? That is a launcher crab with a shield. Are you kidding me? So all I gotta do is kill everything else. Ah. Uh. Okay. Most things are dead. I think there are a couple things, though. Let's just chill out. The crabs keep multiplying, dude. Okay. No. There we go. Okay, I had to wait for him to shoot. I'm gonna sell that sonic boom real quick. I could buy a slot, but I don't really care with a knockback, and it could it could actually destroy me. Hot shot. I mean, at this point, sure. Although I'm like basically gonna die if I get hit, so I gotta be really careful. Okay, I've got a horde to survive. I basically just gotta make sure I don't find any enemies that are like super dangerous. Like the, the enemies that spawn near the end of a wave. 
throw our black hole in there. Four seconds. Okay. So no shop yet. More, more poison stacks. If we can up the poison stacks. Barrel rain. I'm gonna go for random. It sounds cool, but with this low HP, I don't know if it's the vibe, to be honest. I also think this, I also think this is a problem. Hello. I knew going in there that there was going to be some like higher tier crabs showing up. But I kind of had to play my my cards right there because if I stayed in this 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 little area it could have been bad for me. We got flawless, we got an extra one, sharp claws. We're going to a shop, so let's get as many crystals as we can. And I don't think there's actually any ability for the laser to move slower, so I'm just going to grab big shot. Now I'd love some shield, more toxic, more red fury, silver heart, re more red fury, uh, spark shots, whatever. Reroll, kill silver heart, sharp shot. I could do bullseye. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I might as well grab it, and maybe I'll do some one shots. I don't know. I doubt it though. But let's see how we do with the first final boss. I don't think I've ever seen a double king skull. To, and to be honest, I didn't even know that was possible. It should be pretty straightforward though. Where is the other one? Oh, there he is. This is great. Perfect. We definitely take those. This run is still not very comfortable. I, it's it's all right, but like a single like fire crab dive and I'm dead. Rare treasure, yes please. Let us loop. Okay, we're feeling the effects of uh everything I guess I don't even know like we're just pretty strong I'm gonna try and speed run this second half here upgrade our glue shot we're definitely not getting rid of glue shot let's go for random shot what are these lightning crabs gonna do nothing Surely this is our diamond rank. I don't think there's a way I throw this. Considering how often we stack poison on enemies. There's really no reason we should lose. We just have exponential growth and damage. And you're seeing the effects of that. Sharp shot as well. Another sharp shot. Uh, let's go for toxic debuff stats or increased stacks. throw our black hole down honestly I, w I was saying the aura shot is our mvp but black hole is a nice it's just nice to have i haven't really made any changes to it i imagine it could get pretty wacky with like increased radius and stuff <laughs> i probably should experiment with that in the future that was really annoying because uh poison fire I don't think ice. I think poison fire uh, both disappear in the water. 
Meanwhile, I think our Ar arcane and ice still can be done underwater. Sharp shot again. Big shot. I really don't think this is changing our shots at all. Yeah, it's not. I'm gonna try and stay on the lands. So that way they don't lose their poison stacks. I was frozen. Is that a double green health chest? Uh, oh my, I gotta try that. I would actually like to find a skill chest too for some magazine size. Did he just fall underground? I think that, uh, that crab just fell underground. Okay. Might as well take danger close. That's a double... I've never seen this before. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, man. <laughs> I should have... I should have just went with the first one. All right, hot shot. Increased crit chance. Random shots, not good. I'll go for poison shot here, even though I should probably take the health. Reload speed increase. Sure. We are definitely, like, doing a lot of damage. Once we pass level uh, island 40, we don't need to worry about water anymore, so... I think we'll be doing even more damage on the future levels. Which is kind of counterintuitive. You feel like the later levels should be harder to activate your elementals, but... That is not the case. Right, we still have one armor. All right. I mean, we take poison shot, right? 25% chance so far. Damage increase to poison enemies is okay. But I think honestly, the, the damage scaling is way better just to have higher percentage. Get more stacks. All right, what do we have? Juice, please? Firework shot. Nah. Let's go for supercharged. That's fun. My God. Hmm. Double, double silver hearts. Both, both at a discount. I feel like it's trying to tell me something. I'll take them. Random. We are shooting so fast. Throw a black hole in there into the mix. Oh, we're getting rare treasure. I was like, what is happening with the... Well, how are we getting like random items? And I forgot we have rare treasure from the legendary chest. Things are surviving. Bigger boom. I think that counts. So that should make our, our radius even bigger. Rapid fire. I mean, we're doing 4% chance for burning. We could up that. But do I want to? I feel like I want to just... Yeah, I think I just want that. I just want, I just want to make my fire rate stupid. Technically, in a, in a way... Getting our fire rate up is also getting our chance to make the fire happen anyway. Right? Am I crazy? I think that's technically how it works.
Oh, I got. Oh, I forgot we were doing waves. I'm so dumb. Well, that's okay. We got a sharp shot anyway. Plus, faster reload speed. Get the island before the boss. Uh, did I learn my lesson? No, but it, did it pay off? Yes. We could add. We could add lightning shot. I mean, why? Why not? Is there really any harm? There's no harm. More rapid fire. More juice. I'm taking this. I'm sorry, but. I don't care about you. What do we get rid of? Okay, well we can get rid of Bullseye. And that'll do it. My god. I expect these bosses not to last very long. But maybe maybe I'm gonna die. So because it's a poison grub, he is losing the stacks of poison pretty quickly, but I can also stack them faster than he can get rid of them, so that still ended up being okay. Now remember when I said that a, a single fire crab dive could kill me? I was still very nervous about that guy. He can do like six hundred damage on, on level forty. We take supercharged. Like, that's crazy. At this point, we need, like, a, a mod to stop us from losing our bullets. Like, all you can eat, I think it is. Like, we are firing just too dang fast. This is going to cause chaos. The, the black hole is going to cause chaos. I, I don't know what's happening. That, that guy just, yeah. What? It ate my jump. Can I make this back? Yes, I can. Okay, we're good. Sharp shot. And sharp shot. Okay, we are in good condition here. We're going to start going for health chests. It's time to play for survival. We have infinite scaling. So we don't really need to worry about damage. At least single target scaling. We reload so quickly. Okay. And good night. Got a performance bonus, please. Nourishing salvage. The heck? Can we go for armor here? And honestly, we go for armor again. Armored enemies and mirror projectiles. I think that doesn't work on glue. Uh, it works on glue. That's okay, though. to keep our distance we should be all right a full level of armored enemies is kind of cruel but i did pick it so i can't really like i can't blame the level it seems to shoot the mirror projectiles after the glue timer wears off so it gives me time to like shoot enemies and then like leave the vicinity Hello. All right, we get three chests. We take sharp shot again. We take sharp shot again. Red Fury. Let's go for a shop. I don't think I'd do this again. Nice. Why did I say I don't think I'd do it again and I did it anyway? Regenerating armor. Oh boy. Okay, wait a minute. One percent chance to loot to drop loot. I think this is not worth keeping when I can get regenerating armor. I think it's just it's not enough to fully get it though.
Lightning shot, I'm sorry, but you need to go. Okay, let's go for waves. Oh, I forgot that I can't take damage. Okay, well, maybe I wanted a healing chest. Yeah, I'll take that. Unironically, a good item. See how many times we're firing our, our fireworks? Ow, 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 ow. We are a 2% chance to fire fireworks, and we are firing it that often. That's how many bullets we're shooting. I mean, we're technically shooting 100 bullets, like, in the matter of, like, seconds. So I guess that makes sense. We're, we're basically, like, firing per one clip... We should be firing on average two fireworks. This isn't like the biggest damage run we've ever had. It's actually like pretty weak. But it just melts. I hear something. Oh, hello. Bigger boom. I don't think there's any... Re is there recoil? I guess there is recoil. I, I, I could take this. <laughs> Very minimal. You know what would go actually kind of wild in this? Is a... Uh, is that greed perk. Double-edged sword would go wild with this. Like how often we're hitting enemies. Like I said, we have like crazy, like single target, just point and click damage. If we if we were to like point and click at one enemy for like a few seconds, it just disappears. Okay, let's go get our health from this chat, uh, this rock over here. Oh, Venn diagram. I'm full. Was I full the whole time? I forgot that I didn't have a thousand because I kept. Doing oh wait gain crystals when damaging enemy let's see this is this as crazy as I think it's gonna be are they moving faster on the ice It's, it's actually not keeping up with the shots. Look at the, the top left. It's not keeping up with the shots. These uh, sniper crabs are going to be a problem. They have, both have shields on them. Okay. Ow. This is crazy. What is this? What is this level? I throw this this grenade, uh, black hole down. Okay. We just have one sniper crab to deal with. I'm glad I have armor because they can really destroy you. Dude, this level's wild. Yeah, I think I got rid of them, so now I can just kill them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, scary. We go poison here. Shop. Fireworks shot. I don't think we need that. It gave me nothing good. My god. Yeah, like look how quickly the damage ramps up when you have a bunch of poison. Like we're about to have a million for sure.
Not bad. I just trolled. Oh boy. Just gonna focus on the skull. Yep. And I think the boss is about to kill himself. You know what? Let's just throw that down there for good measure. Does he not care about the black? Oh, he, he made it back up. He's actually... What is he doing? Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Bigger key. Shots pierce through enemies. I don't think that's going to work with... Yeah, I don't think that works with uh, glue shot. So... Unless it glues to several enemies, then I kind of hard trolled with my choice. But I would imagine that wouldn't be how it works. I feel like I should almost like shoot one and then shoot the other. So I'm always like just like firing. Yeah, seems pretty good. I basically shot one of my guns and then shot the other one when the other one was reloading. And now I'm just constantly switching between between my uh, my weapons. Let's go for shrapnel and homing thorns, because why not? Yeah, I'd say we're in a good spot here. Regenerating armor usually does mean I'm going to win. I don't think I've lost with it. It's just too consistent. Like, I would say that I... There's not very often that I take, like, six armor worth of damage on one stage. And if I don't have full armor, I play very, very carefully. Until I basically just slowly build back up each armor plate. Uh, hello? Hello? This has happened before on this stage. Where is it? Oh, hello? No ammo is used for a short time after eliminating an enemy. That's exactly what I was looking for. And I think that's the play. Let's just grab that. Boom. I guess I'll go for a grip tape. And uh, let's do parkour because we haven't done parkour yet. It's always fun. This is the exact same stage still as the first one. Really think they should be uh, adding a second stage. Some more parkour variation would be great. All right, what do we get? What do we get? More critical blast. We have a pretty high chance. Where is it? 22% chance. I would say that's pretty good. We aren't really hitting that many crits. Uh, but here's a critical chest as we... Uh, it's like we summoned it or something. I actually don't know if it's giving... Like, now that I think about it, I don't know if Hotshot's giving me any crits. I think it is, though. Perfect. Got my max HP up. Give me six each time too. That's great. Well, there's more hot shot. How much damage are we increasing to ourselves? Increase damage by 
Let's 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 grab both of those. Why not? 100% increased damage to ourselves. Very good. 20% of our health. I think that just makes our all-you-can-eat last longer, which, you know, is probably good. What do we have here? Big shot, eagle eye, triple grenade, three black holes. Does sound interesting, but I don't care. Gemstone's a bit late, but I'll take it. Dashing sends an arc of daggers in the direction you're looking. Don't really care. Let's just save our money. Should we try this? Um, only explosive enemies spawn and you don't have the usual immunity to their explosive damage when eliminating them. Okay. So that doesn't sound fun. I'm going to avoid barrel rain again, to be honest with you. I just, I don't want to throw another run at the very end. Uh, is that a fuse? It's a legendary totem. Taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm I am burning. It's weird. This feels strong. This this run feels strong but weak at the same time. I don't know why. What do we have here? We get a free random one. Fire rate reduced by 50%, but increases with each shot fired until reloading. <laughs> Wait a minute. That'll go crazy. Trust me. Especially with all you can eat being like six seconds, I think. Let's see. Where's all you can eat? All you can eat. No ammo is used for six seconds after eliminating enemy. Yeah, yeah. Let's. This is gonna be. This is gonna go crazy. Let's go for upgrade. Uh, the game is starting to freak out. I have auras showing up all over my screen. I've created the fastest weapon. Ow. It doesn't know what to do. I'm actually just shooting auras. I I think this is awesome. Where, what is this? Oh my god. It increases by 1% for each shot fired. That was actually nuts. I gotta stop reloading. Just gotta fire and just back up. Oh my... This... <laughs> what is... <sighs> I have actually reached infinite fire rate. That needs to be an, a legendary item. Like, what is that? I'm not even kidding you. That's that's actually busted. Look at my look at my money. Oh yeah, just make my rapid fire my 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 fire rate even higher. Why not? Oh, I think this is gonna be by two percent each shot. Oh my god, dude, it's 2% per shot. <laughs> what is this mod? What is this mod?
mean this I'm not even really be able to experience this thing for very long. I need to kill something to have like six seconds of shooting. Yeah, this is not good against these bosses because there's no enemies spawning. I need I need an enemy to spawn so I can kill it. Wait, that, did he just die? He just combusted. Oh, here's where it gets stupid. Kill that. Now we just fire infinitely. Y y yeah. I mean, I kind of want to go around again. I shouldn't. It's 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 run its course. I think that this is uh just insane. It's insane. Let's just move on. I that has to be legendary. I'm sorry, but that that has so many but like has so so much potential to get like stupidly stupidly strong. <laughs> We got a festive skin. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. There's ocean. There's an ocean uh, skin as well. I didn't see that before. That's really cool. Well, we got the festive skin. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, disgusting run. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. That might be the fastest fire rate you'll ever see in the game. Infinite fire rate. Basically. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That mod is amazing. I, I really think it should become a legendary. But yeah, either way, until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.